All right, doing a real quick uh, unboxing, or uh, we'll say unbagging video here. Doing a comparison of uh, a Seiko turtle and a uh, Seiko king turtle. Um, short version of the story is I bought this at retail price. I saw that it was available online much cheaper. Uh, and upon doing a little more digging, I found this king turtle uh, for less than the turtle. So I want to open it up, see how it looks, and uh, if everything checks out, I'll probably be taking this retail back to the local retailer uh, and sticking with the uh, the king. So let's see what we got. Pull them both out and do a little side by side. Not thrilled to see it shipped in a paper bag from Amazon. That's not the greatest. But at least we've got something good to compare it to. That's a good start. Looks like the uh, the turtle there. So let's see. We're we'll gonna check them out. Get rid of that receipt for now. Yeah, this one's got a price on the side there. Five ninety five retail. That looks right. So it's the SRP E zero five. Well, the box checks out. Let's do this. We'll do a little, a little side by side there. A serial number or something there. Hopefully that's legit. None of that stuff's on the actual box. Make sure I keep all this stuff separate. All right, so we'll start with the top. There's the, the turtle, the one that I originally got. Really love it. Uh, I, I, I put it on. You know, I didn't really like the design on uh, the pictures I was seeing, you know, online, but uh, boy, I put it on and it's just a great feeling watch. So, that one is from the local authorized dealer. Happy to see they both look really similar when you open them up. So, let's see. Alignment is one of the common issues. And it looks like that top bezel, unless I get one more click. Oh, I did get one more. And back. That's pretty decent there. That'll do for me, I'd say. Just continuing to kind of take a close look. Dust on there. I know I'm not a huge fan of the Cyclops on the uh, photos I've seen so far, so we'll see if that stays or not. Let me get a little cloth here. There's a little dust on there. I just want to make sure, make sure that dust is on the surface and not... Let's see. Another common complaint that I've seen is the Cyclops lens there is not always straight, but it looks to be. Yeah, it must have got checked. Uh, well, shoot. It looked like it shipped yesterday. And I believe it's got about a 40-hour battery reserve, and it's still running, so it's... Someone gave it a look-see here recently. So far, out of the gate. Pretty happy with it. Let's see, I just want to compare that. Bezel feels. I do like the bezel, so slightly different bezel on here, a little more of a, a turtle shell look. Other than that, the specs are about the same. closer look here. So we got the same seal on that. That's good. Price tag looks good. So far nothing sticking out that's really giving me any red flags or any anything I'm not happy with. Um, the crown also checks out. I've seen that. Some folks have said that on a fake uh, Seiko turtle sometimes the, cr the crowns are a little funky but that looks the same so far it's everything's checking out and looking uh, legitimate to me again not an expert just uh, recently bitten by the watch bug looks just like the other 
Seiko band. the light hitting it in the camera it does look pretty green but uh, I can say having it on it's it's got a pretty neat color to it you know from an angle it looks like a dark gray maybe hardly even green but again you get that light on there and you get more of that that green look feels great feels just like the other to watch out for is to make sure the Seiko logo there is above the wave which it is I saw some that were offset uh, and had you know just really poor it almost looked like it was engraved writing on the back so that's so everything looks great um, I was a little worried about ordering this on Amazon the seller was uh, watches with warranty but shipped from Amazon uh, and that ensured that if there were any issues upon arrival that I wouldn't be dealing with a third party to return or exchange. Um, boy, so I, I'd say I'm pretty darn happy with that. Beautiful watch. Looks good. Let's pull this crown out and give it a give it some wines. Again, I think it's a 40 hour reserve, so at least someone wound it up before shipping it. Must have gave it a, a look-see. Which is good. Let's see, I got a clock somewhere. Let's get this thing dialed in here. Maybe September 9th now. So it's got hacking. See the second hand stopped. And let's see how well, let's deal with the dates first. Three positions. There we go. That should be. It's a wrong Friday. Twist down for the numbers we want to get. I always like to go a day short and then make sure I get my hours right. So we'll take it to the eighth. Pull out to the third position. And we'll wind this around until we come over to the ninth. So I've made that mistake before, where I end up uh, rolling over midday. So there we go, 12 a.m. on the 9th. Oh, but now I gotta go back to the, the day. And if you guys see the English and Spanish there, those will uh, Those will, uh, you know, it just picks its English or Spanish and will stay on that setting. And it looks like I need to change that again. Okay, let's see if I can get there without wasting everyone's damn time. So we're in the morning. Here we go into Friday afternoon. And I'll dial this in a little later, but we're at 2 24. Friday the 9th. Back in, we'll give it a little more wine, screw that crown back in. I still think that Cyclops is going to have to go, but that's not too bad. It actually looks alright. It looks straight enough. I know sometimes those are a little crooked. Let's see what, the, uh, what kind of paperwork we got in here. I did have the registration card on the other, but it wasn't filled out by the uh, local dealer, so let's see if this has got anything written on it. Okay, this seems more legitimate than what I received on the other one. Watch Gala, Miami, Florida, data purchase 9122. Is that right? Uh, I feel like that's not, I feel like I bought it a little bit after that, but, 
very interesting. Can I confirm that serial number on here? Let's see, let me look off camera here. 1D1186. So, you know what? I'll be damned. They did more than my local dealer, I can say that. So, numbers match up there. Was there another serial number on this? Yep, same number on the box. Let me just show you the, uh, again, the local dealer here. So I understand that if I've got the receipt, I can, you know, submit that with the receipt. But same card. So that checks out as well, but blank one from the local place. So with all that said, we got a 10-minute video here. You know, part of me hates to do it, but uh, I think this old old black uh, turtle here is going to head back to the shop and find a new owner. I, I Again, I, I love the watch. Uh, when I went to look at him, I didn't know I'd be going home with one, but uh, upon getting home and seeing that these are typically available for under $400, and I played $495. So more than a hundred dollars that look like you know uh, you'd able, able to get it on Amazon or through uh, another licensed dealer. I thought, man, I you know that's just I'm not getting the best bang for my buck there. So for a little bit less, I think this ended up being uh, four seventy if I remember right under 500 bucks um, you know probably 30 40 dollars cheaper I've got the Seiko King turtle with sapphire glass which the other one didn't have and a ceramic bezel it's nice and glossy a little more flat than the the other turtle Alright, that's it guys. I uh, just wanted to do this live on camera here and give you my immediate thoughts while I've got both in hand. King Turtle, beautiful. Pretty excited about this. I'm going to slap it on and uh, go get the OG Turtle back to the, uh, the retailer there and give them my explanation if needed. Y'all have a good day. Uh, let me know if this uh, you guys like this kind of video. You know, I, I'm always hunting for the, the best deal, so I'll pick some watches up here and there. And if they don't meet my expectation, well, then I'll try to find another deal and return them if needed. But uh, this is definitely a keeper. Excited to have it in the, uh, the box. And uh, see you next time.